Hi, my name is Terry Nelson with Easy Step Products. I design the best universal plant support system on the market that is going to be lasting for many years. And today I'm going to explain a little bit about how our system works. All our rings and components that attach to our posts are made with a high grade polymer with a UV stabilizer so it won't break down and become brittle in the sun. So that means you can enjoy our system for many years to come. We have three different size rings. We have an eight inch ring, a 10 inch ring, and a 12 inch ring. Everybody knows about the tomato cage and how much frustration that is every season as they're putting in their garden. As you can see here, tomato cages are designed to fail. Our system isn't. You can see that over a course of maybe one or two seasons, this weld is gonna break down and just break apart and then your plant is gonna be compromised. With our system, you have a solid post and easy rings that are built to last. You can continuously add more support rings as your plant grows. Our attachments will work on your post or you can buy a complete system from Easy Step Products. If it's a temporary fence post that you get at your local hardware store, an old piece of rebar that you can use, or you can actually use a, a shepherd's hook. It will attach to anything that has a diameter of 3 8 all the way up to a 3 quarter inch diameter. Let me show you how it attaches. Take your nut and your arm with notches facing out, tighten down, and then slide it down your rebar. And lock it in place. Next, you can take any one of your rings, and here is a 10 inch ring that you just simply wrap around the stock of the plant and lock it in place. As you can see here, I put a 10 inch ring at the bottom, a 12 inch, and on the 8 inch, I'm going to flip this upside down and feed it in from the bottom up. And what this is going to allow you to do is going to be much sturdier than having it this way. Because if you have a heavier plant, now what it's going to do is bend against the 90 degrees and it's going to add more support. So watch what I do here. And another great feature is we don't have to put our rings in order. Like a tomato cage, it comes 8 inch at the bottom, 10 inch, 12 inch, etc. We can now add our rings at any position, like this one 10 inch, 12 inch, and 8 inch. And our center point is always lined up. Also, if you got a plant that's growing a little heavier on this side, what we're going to do is we can rotate it to capture that part of the plant to make sure that it gets the support that it's going to need. By supporting your plant properly, you're keeping that plant growing upright and not allowing your fruit to touch the ground where it has potential to actually become rotten. You can actually disinfect our ring system by putting it in, an, in the sink with hot soapy water to prevent any cross-contamination from season after season. And you can store them in just a small little area. All you need is a 12 by 12 inch box and you can put it in this, throw it up on a shelf, and you're good to go. Compared to a tomato cage, I mean, these things are big and clumsy. So you probably would rather have this versus that. And if you want a complete system, we offer that as well. We have Midnight Black or Safety Orange. One to blend in and one to stand out. We have 60 inch heavy duty half inch posts with a unique anchor system. On all of our posts, we have a four inch platform. We have a six inch anchor system that teams up with a 12 inch that penetrates the ground. Welded one inch on this side, and one inch on this side. As you can see here, we have a, a plant that's been compromised. 
this pepper plant has tipped over because we actually got a ton of rain and the wind came up and just turned it right over on its side and we got a, a lot of fruit on there that we want to salvage so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it back up pulling that fruit back up so we can actually um, keep it from rotting on the ground and what I'm gonna use here is just a cheap old piece of, of uh, fence post that I found at a uh, in the back of our farm so I'm gonna step it in the ground right about here take the arm the nut put my ring on pull the plant up and now we got our plant back up to exactly where we need it so this is going to keep the, the the peppers from rotting on the ground and we're going to see a lot more fruit come off this plant